everyone, the Keast here, and welcome to the Kakato Gemmo Irabon Carmine vs. Ultramarine trailer. You're probably wondering, why Carmine vs. Ultramarine? Well, we couldn't afford Red vs. Blue. It's a name of a popular series, and it's used in all the other esports, so uh, we're cheap grassroots. So Carmine vs. Ultramarine it is. When you sign up, you'll note that you get to pick what team you want to be on. And yes, this is kind of mandatory, because this will add additional hype to it. There'll be players that you normally wouldn't even pay attention to, but they might be on your same team color. You'll also note that each of the games will also have their own team color, and this means that that team has kind of already conquered that game, and it's up to you to either defend it from their enemies or to, well, take it back, if you will. For example, Melee is under Team Carmine, so if you sign up as Team Carmine, you're essentially defending Melee from Ultramarine players. And if you're an Ultramarine player, then you're essentially trying to uh, take Melee over for Team Ultramarine. This will all be more fun when you're actually at the venue, I believe. But in the meantime, we'll get to hype it up, sell some shirts, and all that other fun stuff. Venue will be at the Coffee Underground place, as mentioned in the events, uh, where the other coffee codes were. But let's get on to the game reveal list. So, I've decided to split these up into different groups, and the first one we're going to get is clearly, clearly, the best games we have on the lineup. These are our Capcom games. You're just wonderful. And while some of those games are clearly better than the others, there's still many more games to the core to Kakato Gamo. Up next are the games that we value the most. <laughs> So those were the games that fulfilled the central beliefs here in Kakato Gemmo. This next group of games are the ones we grew up with when we were children. Here are the Nintendo games that are going to be at Kakato Gemmo. <laughs> But you know, as popular as those games are, not every fighting game 
can be like them. And in fact, there's some games that are dead before they're even released. And no, no, I'm not talking about the poverty games you're thinking of. These are games that no one, and I mean no one, really plays. And these are what I call the orphan games. And did you know that 4 out of 20 fighting games become orphan before they're even released? But you, you can make a difference. With just $5, you can sign up at this link, and you can help save these orphan games. You can help give them the love and respect that all the other games have been given, and make them part of the FGC as a whole. Here are some of the orphan games that will be at Cockatoo Gamble. is all you need and we can get these games played well anywho there's still more to show up next we've got the games that have been getting a lot of spotlight recently the anime FGC has really worked hard to get these games to be well known and respected even though they're just anime games heck the only reason I'm letting these in is because Jushuichi wants them in so up next, I guess, are going to be the anime games of Kakadu Gamu. two games will be at the next Kakuto Gamo. There is a 23rd game, it's the mystery event. And as you know, my mystery events, I don't reveal anything about them until the day of. In fact, I won't even reveal it until after you can't sign up for it anymore. So, it'll be at near the end of the night, make sure you sign up for it, it'll be worth it. As usual, this will be streamed by Matchstick Melee and Manakeet Gaming, which, you know, they've done the last few, might as well do this one. We will not be able to stream every game, decided that's kind of the compromise. There will also kind of be a soft cap of how many games you can enter. I'm going to kind of say 10 for the time being, but, you know, it's, it's we'll see how it works out. Just sign up for what you want. We'll try to make adjustments later. The big thing is that you won't be able to pick as many games when you sign up at the door. So make sure when you pre-register online, you pick the games you actually do want to enter. Until then, sign up and you'll hear more info from TOs in their individual games. For example, Super Turbo will be getting a $50 pot bonus and it will be doubled if you can break 20 entrants. I think that's really easy to do. Other TOs will do pot bonuses as they go or if you want them to do something, you can contact them. They'll all be linked in the event pages as well as Smash GG. So here's to the next Kakato and hope you guys see you all in July.